Hey guys, get out here. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2 and this USA hard mode playthrough where we are trying to connect all the cities on the map and satisfy their cargo needs. Today we are definitely going to connect and deliver some more. But before that, as usual, I will ask you to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And here we go. Let's start. So, first thing is first, I will give you the plans of uh, what's to come. So, I would really love to start delivering some goods to our islands for two reasons. First, to let them grow a little bit, because they deserve it. Also, Bahamas is kind of growing, you know, plus 270% is pretty good. Not the other two. I mean, we have some destinations for them, but not that many. I think one of the uh, big problems for this is that the cities themselves are not that big. So um, I will definitely try to expand them a little bit more, give them more space as well. I know it doesn't look so good, but the game is the game, you know? It has limitations, the cities are super big and uh, the space is not enough. So there you go. But before that... We have to do a, a few more things because I'm currently having only 1200 of crude. We need more if we are going to deliver uh, more fuel to our islands because this one only needs 120. And <laughs> funny enough, all of them actually have as a primary cargo need fuel. So there you go. For us to do that, I have a great idea. We have this beautiful Houston oil well over here which is super close to the station which means that we can take it from there without doing anything else then i would uh, love to connect oklahoma as well to the network build our circular line over here and finish so many setups that are currently in development so yeah that's it i hope you like it and now i'm going to jump right into finishing up austin and setting up the line after that so here we go. All right, guys. So here we start first by finishing up uh, some cargo platforms and some trucks that were forgotten last time because of the refinery in Austin. We're going to use it later. I also decided to add more buildings to the, to the station for a few reasons. One of them is to bring the connection closer. Uh, I mean, the connection to the station closer to the refinery because it looks kind of um, far and also this design of the station does not allow me to put buildings on the other side which is kind of a negative um, but yeah so here you can see that I'm already attempting to find a solution to the connection issue uh, you can see that uh, the connection is going to work but now I have to find a, a way to, uh, to make it I make a mistake <laughs> of putting the buildings very quickly resolved so yeah uh, extend the road and now we have to see how we're going to do it uh, it cannot be on top of the road itself i mean technically maybe it could be a big bridge but there will be a lot of trucks underneath and um, i guess a tunnel made more sense to me so that's what i'm going to uh, to do in the end um, so here you will see that i'm attempting to to find solutions to the problem at hand unfortunately uh, there is nothing that can be done because the station is too big already and there is a limitation on the amount of uh, elements that you can stack on top of each other so yeah uh, a few deliberations a few moments later <laughs> i will <laughs> make my mind about the tunnel being the only option we will see maybe after i connect uh, austin to oklahoma Maybe things will uh, change, not maybe, but most definitely. But uh, for now, we are going to uh, look at myself <laughs> trying to uh, build a tunnel, which makes sense under this station. Yeah, I have to extend the rails so that uh, when I build it, I don't have to uh, rebuild it later, which was a mistake because I will probably rebuild it uh, nevertheless. I'm not sure what makes more sense here long term. Uh, the tunnel is fine. I also do not want, or I think I do not want, to have the town actually to grow on the other side of the station. 
uh, if it does that would be uh, uh, desirably commercial and industrial districts but if they do grow there that means that they are not blocking the residential district to getting too close to the station and that is something that i definitely do not want and yeah uh, a lot of struggles with the tunnel building here you can see it was not easy and then it was like no i refuse to <laughs> to see that station so i'm trying to to somehow uh, make the two stations connect you know this is kind of weird but i guess it makes sense because i don't have a, a building on the side closer to the to the refinery uh, sorry this is not a refinery but to this crude oil well uh, and yeah that station design uh, hurts me sometimes you know but in the long term it helps so let's finish up the buildings on the other side as well now we're going to concentrate in uh, rail building here yeah this is going to be uh, tedious as uh, mentioned in the comments but it's necessary because I really, really like how when the stations look like that, they look super realistic. Uh, also, obviously, they are very performant, meaning that uh, the trains are coming very fast into the station and they're not going to block the main road when they are coming. I mean, the system is not perfect, obviously, but it cannot be perfect uh, neither because this is a game after all and the game is trying to simulate something. Also in this, <coughs> in this um, map, we have uh, cities that take uh, space for half or a state <laughs> but this is how the the map is you know like it's trying to represent the whole of the united states which is i think the third fourth fifth biggest country in the world i don't remember but it's one of the biggest uh, and yeah we have a lot of land to uh, we don't have a lot of land between cities and cities take too much um, Next playthrough, yeah, I really hope there will be a next one. Uh, we will uh, choose another map that represents a smaller area or just makes more sense in general. I would also love to, to play the next time uh, a long map, a uh, long and narrow map, so that uh, I have other uh, options to, to build stuff, you know. And also one of the mods that I am subscribed to if, if I decide to play a generated map, it builds really nice tall mountains, so I think it's going to be awesome. But that's for the future. Let's first finish this one, obviously. Yeah, so here uh, I'm almost getting it done with the incoming uh, rails for the station. I think it's looking pretty good. And yeah, it looks nice. I mean, uh, the catenary doesn't look amazing, but you know, you cannot get everything in life. So yeah, let's see how uh, I'm going to do here. I already make a mistake, uh, if you can notice, <laughs> which I will resolve uh, fairly quickly, I guess. Uh, but yeah, when you um, do things like that, it can happen because uh, I was trying to avoid building the platform. I don't know why, because it doesn't cost me that much, but yeah, that's going to uh, waste some of my time today. So yeah, now I'm going to do another mistake here, which is, fairly easy to to commit to be honest unfortunately uh, when you don't connect the rail directly to the to the main rail it uh, finds whatever it sees there on the ground as a point of um, to which to to try to get to and you will see very soon how I actually created yeah <laughs> I forgot that I have one more uh, line there to, to add but anyhow, that's fixed. And now I'm going to notice the other issue that I have. Maybe not now, I first put the signals. Yeah, some priority signals, some normal ones. And now I'm going to connect to the main road. And when I connect them all, of course, at the end, I'm going to notice that my four uh, rails are actually inclined uh, lower than the rest of them. And it doesn't really look nice. And after all, this game is supposed to look nice as well. That's why we are playing it. So yeah, uh, here I'm going to connect the cargo terminals as well to be able to leave. This at least, at least when you uh, design when this station design the, yeah, you see now I saw it. There you go. And now I'm trying to convince myself that it's not as ugly, but no, <laughs> I was. <laughs> uh, unable to convince myself as you can see i destroy it and now i'm going to 
to make it uh, better. Now here it tries to snap to the other uh, line that I have already created, so I have to destroy that one as well. And now I'm going to pay closer attention to where they end up being, so that it makes more sense and it's not going down. Like another solution to this, of course, is to uh, to flatten all the the, the land uh, where I'm going to build the flatten, maybe not, but uh, equalize the levels to be the same as the the main road, the main railroad. I can put in the signals, and I'm going to finish up the uh, construction here. Okay, let's go, and almost there. Yeah, so. Here I'm only using the fast, the more expensive rails because uh, sometimes, not sometimes, but for a significant amount of time there will be not, not be that many trains and they will not wait for each other so it would be nice if they accelerate, start accelerating out. Alright guys, now that the station is more or less done, it's time to do a few more things, specifically here in the rails, I want to make my expansion, I mean, not to finish it, but at least to uh, add the blueprint over here. So first we're going to do the exit from um, Austin. Let's give it, this is the shorter radius. That's why I'm going to start first with it. Let's give it 120, right? Perfect. Uh... We should point towards Laredo. Um, let's let's see where more or less. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. So the probably the station is going to come around there. So I'm going to try to point towards that direction. So around the the crude oil platform there. Crude oil well, whatever it's called. So 120 comes up to here somewhere. Okay. Maybe I want to establish it so that I can connect the other one as well. So 120 still to be. This is perfect. 120. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's too much. Maybe up to here. Here is fine. One twenty. Oh yeah, I think I like it. One twenty. Okay. Now let's add the parallel track as well. Right. Let's do it from here. Why am I doing this? Because this is going to save me knowing what I have to do already. This is going to save me trouble in the future. Okay, this is looking good. Now, let's see what is the shortest connection here towards there. Am I going to be able to have... Do I need 320 meters here? Let me see. Because this is our longest trains. So this, if I start from around here, 320 is up to... Here, I think this is perfect, and I can open a connection from there. It's going to be very, very nice. So this has to be around here, our outer. Actually, let, why not use the signal? Signals are going to tell me very, very quickly. Uh, if I put two of 160, the second one is there. Thank you. So we remove this one. This is 160 here. And the next one is what we need. So I have to try to... Yeah, I don't think here is such a big problem. So let's try to see if... How am I going to get it? Something like this. 100, no. This is too, too much. Too sharp. Yeah, too sharp. Something like this. Did I see 120? Yep, I did. I think this is pretty good. Maybe I can push it even a little bit more like here. 
120. Now this is perfect. This is what I call perfect. 120. Very nice. Just here, how is the... Everything looks good here in the junction. Okay. We're going to add this. I'm going to add the other one as well. Did I see 19? Unfortunately, I do. Yeah, because this is my smaller radius. So the other one has to be 121. Can I? Okay, I think it was here. So let's do it 121. One. 21 yeah it's right next to the signal oh my god it's just perfect okay that's it and i think i will be able to 113 what ah there you go they should be on the same level here perfect this should not be trouble to connect right with 120 uh, here no absolutely not okay so this is it this is what i needed to do now um the guys connecting from here are going to come here and yeah i think we can have a signal over here certainly and then we're going to add signals here as well i should be able to have two yeah but let's take this one the other one doesn't matter that much because yeah they are going to block here or there, it doesn't matter. So this one can stay. Um, I can live with it, but I also prefer... So which one is? This is the main line, right? So let's give it a priority signal here. And let's give these guys another signal. Like this. And that's it. And this looks, looks awesome, I think. Yeah, so we have 320 meters here for a long train to stay there and not to block the junction, which is great. Really, really great. Um, mm. Now, this other one is potentially a problem, to be honest. Because then I can have someone blocking here, but that's a super rare situation i think and if i see that happening a lot i can always open myself a really nice bridge over here yeah uh, obviously we are going to move this guy and we're going to put him right here and that's a normal signal actually this one should be priority it should always be priority there we go i don't know if it matters but that's it i'm not 100 percent sure how these guys work We'll see with time. Uh, let's give all of these exits as well. You can wait here maybe. Or... Oh, actually, do I want to do that? Because maybe not. Yeah, not for these guys. Because for the cargo... Um, actually, I think I did it in some other stations. The cargo sometimes will be coming from the other side, so... We should not block them. Like... No, not here. Like here, I think. Yep. This should not exist. Yeah, he's slowly moving. Okay, okay. Uh, if I see it, I should be fixing it. Because there will be possibly situations where the cargo... That's why we have the access, you know, before the stations, because the cargo might come from this side and has to go there. It doesn't have space on the right. Okay, that's it. Now, the very important thing is to set up. Are you kidding me? This was connecting before. What happened now? Oh, I will have to do something again. Let's see. Ah, okay. I don't know. Like, it's very weird. Very, very weird. In any case, let's set up our line for... What is this? Houston Oil. Yeah, but they're all called Houston Oil. <laughs> you know, I think it's very possible that I will set up some bus 
route here. We will see how it goes. But for now... Uh, and it's called Houston, although this is San Antonio. Actually, let's... This is not going to be San Antonio anymore. It's just going to be Austin because I don't call it San Antonio anyway. So let's do that. Okay. And now let's set up our line. So we need a line that takes things from your line from this cargo station and goes to the distribution center. Okay, so in San Antonio, Austin, which should become just Austin as we said. Okay, in Austin. And also this should be Austin Cargo Rail, no? I should rename Cargo Rail. It should take four and all the other ones. Okay, this is just going to bring oil for now. So, which was the color? Maybe this one? No, no, certainly not. Uh, I don't know, maybe that. I set it up here for the offshores, but if I know, no, not this one specifically, but which color is that? Something grayish. Hmm. Colors are important. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, maybe. I don't know. Um, let's call this. This is going to be cargo rail, right? So, cargo rail. And then it's going to be... Uh, root. And then it's going to be type for Austin. Right, Austin. S-E-D-C. Okay. Cool. Uh, now the last thing that we need, obviously, is a train, and we need 400 rate, right? Yes. Yeah, I think this is going to be. So let's buy. Uh, we are still. Oh, hello there. Four four two Hayabata. Did I see it before? What, what do you have more? You have less horsepower, more speed, and less destructive effort. I mean, I just... Uh, steam, man. Steam. At the same time, these guys are so cheap. But they have less power. You see? So my electrical one has so much destructive effort and so much power, but it's expensive. These diesel ones have... What is this? Seven times less? Seven times less, yeah. Yeah, but still, if I add seven of these, this will be insane. But if I add seven of these, I'm going to get 4,200 horsepower. But I'm going to get seven... 850 of tractive effort. When it's going to be uh, 1.4... No, a little bit more. Uh, so... 1.7 something like that per year yeah but they're going to take a long space so this is 30 meter this is 23 yeah no 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 it's definitely we're, we're keeping the electric one and also emissions are less so yeah okay cargo we need our crude oil and of course yeah, let's see how we are doing with one tank car then I'm going to decide from there. Crude Austin to SCTC. 10. One car is 10. Ooh. Okay. Uh, so let's try with 20 cars. So that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 210. Okay, um, I think I just need two trains of those. What if I remove? What if I remove one? One hundred and ninety-nine. I mean, are you joking? <laughs> okay, uh, let's see what happens if we copy. 
399. Yep. I think I think that works perfectly fine for me. Ah, one thing I forgot, of course. Let's manage the line and go to the distribution center. So we're coming from the right, so we can take. Uh, yeah, I will see what we can take after, but we can take everything from 7 to 1 on the right. Yep. Oh my god, the amount of luck. <sighs> if the developers explain to me why the game has to luck so much. Okay, now let's click here and... Oh, oh, I should have come here earlier. So, fruit, you go to 6, because 6 is free. What else do we have? Tabo here. Uh, Conmat delivery. You can go to 12. No. 12. Okay. Good. That's it. Actually, why is Conmat there? What's happening with Conmat? Are you in Conmat? You see? You see? That's what I'm talking about. Uh, weren't we supposed to make circles and stuff here? Conmat delivery Florida. Are you returning? Are you there returning? Oh my god. No, 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 no. What's happening? Uh, this is supposed to deliver construction materials down here, primarily to Panama. So you should be using this, this road. So from here, you instead decide to go that way. Ah, because I removed... Oh yes, I had some... Mm, true. I had some... Um, this is going to fix it. Pretty sure. What was it? Conmat delivery, Florida. Ah, uh, now? No one is going back, you see? Perfect. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, let's do the same on the other side. Just to make sure that no trains do stupid stuff. One way. He's already one way. Yeah. So I guess this one was a new one and I forgot to make it one way. Okay. Uh, let's check this con mat again. Yeah, it's returning from there. So it should be on the right, certainly. And this one is making the circle like this. It's coming from here and then going through there. Yeah, everything looks fine. Okay. Um, now, something very interesting. Now that we start having more uh, oil, no, more fruit coming from here. Are you, did you start giving me some? consumers yeah we should uh improve our fuel delivery networks as well so one thing i know for sure is that i have only one uh connected um fuel refinery not this one obviously that one ah and it's also being terrible with this 200 no 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 uh that means Oh my god, this has to be fixed very bad. I don't care, but... Okay, they're almost at full length, I think. What happens if we add one tank car in each of them? 203. Okay, that's perfect. That means that four trains are going to be... What we need. In this case, 400. 400. Okay, perfect. All right. Um, cool. Oh my god, and the production is so low. What is happening here? And here we are suffering big time as well. I have no idea. Hmm. 234. Okay, and we are not even to the max, which is weird. You know, I think this refinery is going to be the next one to be connected, which means, guess what? Expansion of this station. Uh, let's first add the trucks. 
because now I should connect two of them. Oh, and that's why I was stacking so much oil. Yeah, someone uh, commented uh, you should use a pool strategy for the lag, man. Maybe I should pause the game to have better results because this is going to take forever otherwise. So someone in the comments uh, said, yeah, use a pool strategy, which I know how to use, but... Am I? Yeah, I'm doing everything correctly. Uh, but I didn't in the beginning, and now I'm suffering because of it. Oh my god, seriously, this game needs a restart. <laughs> yeah, but not now, in the future. Uh, come on. It cannot be slower than this. Maybe if I zoom in or something, I don't know. Oh my god. That's another reason why I should do this. Um, I don't know, either behind the scenes or just look at that. It's insane. In the game, we have not even moved. Uh, no, I mean, we are kind of in the mid game. I should say, like. I think I have cities that have grown to 1,005. I have to check on New York. But yeah, this is uh, unbearable with these stations. Maybe because I already built one and I think it keeps certain things in memory and then it becomes super slow. If you continue constructing horror things. But yeah, I'm complaining urban games. No, I don't know. This is just insane. I'm getting 0 0.5 frames per second. Seriously. And we need this, we need it. Because we have to set up the other refinery. And now I think after I do that, I will get... Um, I don't know if I have 800 demand for fuel yet, but... We'll see. We are certainly not going to start losing money. <laughs> we already have 1 billion. Okay, okay, okay. Almost there, almost there. Good thing I... If, if I decide to continue with the plans, uh, I will... I mean, I have to build one more station supposedly in this episode but we'll see okay that's great that's great we are well connected here so let's take um by the way i should probably set up hmm, set up the ships as well so now i have a big question that i'm asking myself do i bring the fuel directly from here or i deliver it to miami and take it from miami there is drawbacks to both that means more trains to Miami, which is currently not prepared to take more. And considering that the fuel is going to be here already, just taking another trip to get there doesn't make much sense to me. And using ships... Using ships is something that I should do more of. Now. Uh, that means being very careful where they pass through as well. So this is a very wide area of effect as we have already discussed i think how how long is this 560 80 meters uh, can i take 560 did i say yeah so if we put this as far as possible from this city i think i can fit it in between so if I put a waypoint here, it's going to be too far enough. Okay, okay, that's good, that's good. So, should we spend 2 million just to know where we are or I will be able to see it? Okay, I kind of know where to put it. Okay, so waypoints are going to be around here. So, one for this direction and one for the other direction. Okay, like this. And then here as well, we have to try to keep them off the coast of Miami. So they're going to go up to this triangle or something like that. So one 
this way and one the other way like this and then from here hmm there is going to be tricky i prefer them to stop bahamas growing than miami so they have to be super close to unless unless i unless i change this port i mean i don't mind because eventually i'm going to have um yeah i'm going to have public transportation here as well also you know what we are going to do as well we're going to give the bahamas more space the bahamas deserve more space you know let's go i lost it something like this yeah you have all the beach here to grow for now i think this is enough and i can potentially put change the ports location to this space here and deliver my fuel oh my god oh my god it's terrible i will have to fix this as well it's a complete complete <laughs> complete mixture terrible okay we, i think we can build a port around here let's let's take these like that okay and then because the waypoints are over there uh i want to have one port i don't think i want to have two but i don't know speaking of i already have it there i think i will try to keep the passengers on this side so i will try to move the other two districts on this one cool let's let's make it let's do a cargo cargo port like this Uh, let's put it i don't know here or here here is better maybe uh, collision with what with the beach come on okay okay ah this is lagging as well why not let's delete this we don't need it and now we're going to add the real thing here uh what is this yeah, but I like it like that, I guess. Or like this as well works. I think so. Question is, do we have... Um, almost. Maybe I'll we'll have to dig a little bit. Let's see. Mm. No, but... Ugh, I don't know. No, let's, let's do it like that. Okay. Here. And now, like this, let's keep it far. So let's do this. Uh, I think that should be enough for now. Hope so. Same goes for, ah, but Havana, no, no, in the future. Um, the other islands, the other islands, uh, terrible. Well, I will have to do something about that, but um, not only that, I want to give them more space. Um, you know what? I might actually do this behind the scenes for these guys on top of everything. They don't have such a big demand, but we will set up the Bahamas, certainly, because that's 120. Oh my God, this port will have to grow. Let's give it more. I don't know how many more, but... Uh, We'll see, only time will tell. Give me more. <laughs> okay. For now, I will expand as much as I can sideways. <laughs> we'll see. I probably I should have... I will... Maybe in the future, if I need the space, I will move them more to this side. But for now, this is going to work. So let's add them. I added two there. So let's add two here as well. Come on, can I see it? What happened? Offshore 3 could not connect those stations. And why? Ah, because it changes the numbers. Oh, yeah, that, that's really weird with ports, you know? Because now it's trying to get to these terminals which are not existing yet. No, yeah, something like that. I think. Because now one, 
three, four, two, six. No idea. Let's see what happens if I add the landing zones. Maybe it's going to add, fix itself because it's going to take the new ones, which is not desirable, by the way. Uh, this is how the game works sometimes. Okay. Let's see. Come on. Come on, slow game. Thank you. Yeah, it fixed itself because... Why? I don't know. I, didn't, I don't get it. Reasons. Yeah, but it still gets me the terminals and it doesn't complain, I guess. There is no problems here. At the same time, it doesn't look nice, you know? So... Hmm... Maybe I will actually do this. I will take a little bit of this deep water and come here. Instead of just digging. Which makes it super deep. Yeah, let's do this. I like it better like that. A little bit deeper. There we go. Yeah, I mean... I don't know. I hope it doesn't complain. Okay. So what were we doing? We want ships and to deliver to the Bahamas. So let's take one ship. Let's take the crude oil. Cargo. Okay. I think I'm going to take the usual one. Let's assign it to a new line, which is going to be from the port to the Bahamas. Yeah, what happened here? The Bahamas cargo port it should be. Why? Ah, I didn't add landing zones or something. Yeah, I see. Okay. There you go. We we have the icon now. Did they set it up like that? So we have to follow. Okay, this should be done in a bit. Come on, come on, game. Thank you. So, where is my new line? Line one. Uh, manage line and add the station over here. Okay, so let's go to the card port. This is fine. This is not too close here, is it? Because mm, this is not... No, this is not residential. It's fine, it's fine. Okay. Maybe this here would be a problem. Maybe these guys are going to be... Yeah, I have to see how the emissions are. Because there is a bunch of people here. I definitely have to check this. Actually, let's check it right now. So... Yeah, Miami is kind of complaining. And... Yeah. I mean, they're not terrible. Because they go through here a little bit like that, but they're still, they can still pass through the waypoints there. So, uh, Miami Bahamas, right? So, let's manage these guys. Uh, no, from the Bahamas, I want you to pass no, from Miami as well. That station is the one on the right. And then here, correct. And then from the Bahamas, the other one. And this one. There we go. Perfect. I think this is going to help to an extent. Okay. Oh, these guys there as well. Maybe I will make them move from the bottom. I don't think it matters much. Uh, but uh, it's not even a big deal now, I think. Yeah, it's very few because there is very few ships. Um. Okay. Bermuda Bahamas is the other one. Okay, so what was I doing? This line. Uh, manage it. So from the cargo port, we're adding this station and this station. And from this port, can I? This station and this station. Yeah, forget about getting close to here. There's too many ships, nevertheless. Interesting why I chose to go through here, but it doesn't matter. Um, okay, here, this is fine. 
here i don't think it matters but why don't we start with the last one and then you can choose whatever you want and here we already set but the alternative will be four five and six four five six perfect okay you're going to bring me fuel so let's give you i think it was this one mm, or this one mm, yeah i don't know something like that so this is going to be called uh cargo ship and it's going to be fuel delivery fuel delivery yeah fuel delivery uh bahamas Ooh. 33 is definitely not working and unfortunately it has to be many other ships so this is going to be 66 and now 131 perfect four ships four terminals four ships okay and that's not all of course because this terrible city is having terrible districts fortunately there is probably not going to be that difficult to fix this let's see uh streets you're using these streets okay so this street can continue up to here and this one like that can continue up to here okay and here like that and actually up to why not up to here yep okay we have a few connections here now let's see a drop off point where is the fuel fuel is oh there is fuel there as well i hate it yeah the city will have to be redone uh and i think what did i say residential here and the other guys here because the the cargo port is going to be there yeah i will i will fix that uh but for now this is good with the exception of we need we still need a drop off so these guys there they're sorry about them but they're not going to get it uh there is a few guys there as well i think it's going to be around here and that's going to not be permanent it's going to be until i fix the the city we also need yeah let's let's let it play we need a building we need a turk station electric 330 road connection it's fine i guess uh for now because this is going to be fixed probably with time i don't mind to put you around here okay can i give you another connection to the other side yes i can oh, wait streets ah you're going to not be nice with me right ah no maybe if i delete this yeah this works okay now let's see a new line from yeah a new line from here to here that's perfect the bahamas west no this is going to be uh the bahamas cargo i usually call it bus but i am going to use cargo trams cargo tram okay and this is valley street is uh, and i'm not going to rename it because it's not going to stay actually this one is probably going to change as well but we can keep the name uh so where is the line this is um cargo truck or tram and is um commercial drop off no it's it's fuel fuel drop bahamas bahamas okay we need we need to pin this here we need to operate with the trucks perfect and only one last thing 
we need uh, the depot from depot honestly at this point doesn't really matter maybe here it's going to be no i have to delete buildings and i don't want to do that now so let's put it here uh what was it 130 something like that let's see uh, we want these guys we want fruit let's see how we're going to do it two two is 68 so i guess i just copy or i take one long one uh i will take i will replace it with a long one perfect one long one is perfect great 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 um did i set up everything did i set up the fuel refinery here nope i did not so we are going to have enough fuel for everyone I certainly don't have any delivered here. I'm curious why. Okay. Mm -hmm. We should set up this. As you can see, there is a ton of oil. Yeah, and I'm going to start losing if I'm not already losing cargo. So we certainly need to do this. We need to bring oil here and bring fuel back. Oof. okay uh let's do it just need a line everything else is connected where is the nearest depot i think it's that one so um actually let's start with the line and then it doesn't matter no it does it does let's first set up the line uh so we need first to come to the distribution center and then here and then back and this is going to be end up bringing fuel back or it was this one i have no idea whatever it is this one i don't know maybe this one this one probably was this one um okay so you start from there and you come to the left so you come and go back right? so you have to end up on the right Coming here, going there, on the right. Because you can return from here. Yeah. Okay, so in the distribution center, you can take anything on the right. One is fine. And then one to seven. Oh, now it's not lagging. And in New Orleans Cargo Rail, see? Please take the last one, which is four. And also the alternatives. Ah, and also, let's not forget, this is is very important uh, in both places full load or no not in both places in the distribution center i don't want empty trains to come to the city right right so full load any with a maximum of 10 minutes come on thank you and there you're going to load oil okay and here you're going to unload oil and you're going to load fuel and that's it and this is set up now just we need a name which is cargo rail and then it's going to be oil fuel and it's going to be uh, SEDC uh more like um, do i write the whole thing and cdc or it's just a new new orleans refinery new or refinery i think that makes sense yeah because it says where it is new or refinery okay now we need a train uh, and i need 400 for this Mm, I think you know what's going to be. Oh, hello there. Ah, but you have less tractive effort. And you're more expensive. Ah, because of the speed. Okay, but we don't care. I, I mean, this is going to be my favorite locomotive in this game, I'm pretty sure. The MILF class EP2. The bipolar one. 
<laughs> the most interesting and complex ever developed. I know. I agree. <laughs> okay. Let's take it. And here we can put oil. And let's add the one. And then let's see how it looks more or less. Uh, which one was it? Oil fuel, new or refinery. Where is my... It's my line now. 34. Yeah, because they're very close. That's with one. Okay, if, if I achieve... Maybe I will be able to do it with one... Uh, one train, I think. 34, because... Oh, yeah, certainly. Let's see. Let's see, so... Let's add 10. That would be 34, so 12... 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 410. I think that's going to be perfect. Okay. Where are you, my friend? You're just coming here. Okay, you're going to not do anything in the beginning. Because there is nothing waiting for you here. But nevertheless. Interesting you chose this terminal, right? Uh, actually, in the meantime, let's see what I did here. Okay, one. Maybe you can go to five. Like this. Okay. I don't have double ones, right? Sometimes it's difficult to see here. Okay. Um, This is a nice new setup that we did. It's a very small train, so it's going to be very fast as well. By the way, it is very possible... Nah. Nah, because I have the res residence here. But if the city doesn't grow too much, which is impossible, it could be a port, but we'll see, we'll see. And then a port actually can... No, but these guys here are probably better for a bus uh, or a tram station. I mean, if I connect and put a tram station here, I might do that, you know? Because trains, uh, the less trains we have, the better, because then we have uh, traffic jams. Yep. But not now, because we have a really, really beautiful setup here. Come on, our train is now going to... Can we speed up the game? Maybe it's going to pick up its first... Let's see if something is waiting for it. Oil. No, because now everything... Look, now all the stupid oil is assigned to the uh, other line. Nah, I don't like it. Yeah, I'm not going to get anything, right? Only new deliveries. That's the thing, the game doesn't change... Uh, uh, it doesn't change... It doesn't switch these guys here. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I had so many other plans to do for this uh, episode, but we did that. I think it's pretty nice what we did. Uh, set up here the... Final drop-off of fuel. Hopefully we will get some in the future. Set up these uh, ships to bring it to uh, the Bahamas. Yeah. That's it for today, folks. I really hope that you enjoyed today's episode. And I will encourage you to share your thoughts about it down in the comment sections. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.